Morning, Dan. Morning, Senator. Have you seen the story today in the New York Times? Evidently, the CIA destroyed tapes of interrogations of Al-Qaeda detainees. I want to find out what was on the tapes and why they were destroyed. I first encountered the story that ended up turning into the report in an article by a journalist named Catherine Eban, in which she details the activities of two Air Force psychologists and their involvement in the CIA's enhanced interrogation program. So I started doing research on that, and that led me to Dan Jones. And he told me his story about trying to get the report out into the world. And at that point, I decided that I would rather write about a hero than about these two psychologists who created the program. I want you to find out exactly what they have and read every word of it. I was initially hired by Senator Feinstein through Jay Rockefeller, who preceded her as chairman of the committee. I was the chief investigator of the report. The report is a 6,700-page document. It describes a program after 9-11 by the CIA to detain and interrogate suspected terrorists. The techniques used by the CIA were ineffective at obtaining the intelligence the CIA had represented. The CIA repeatedly provided misinformation about the program to the White House, the Department of Justice, Congress, and eventually the American people. You're gonna get a team of six, three Republicans, three Democrats. No politics, no bias. And the senator isn't interested in opinions or theories, just facts. I wanted to make the movie feel from the outset like a political thriller, like Three Days of the Condor, or some of the other great political thrillers from the 70s. Last night I found this. He's detainee number 24. Adam Driver was someone who I was introduced to by Steven Soderbergh. I didn't know until I met Adam that he had been a Marine. And one of the things he said to me early on was that this was a story that he had followed. But when he read my script, he felt like he didn't know anything about what had really happened. And that was very heartening to me. I want the experience of the movie to be, this is a story you thought you knew, but maybe you didn't. Do you ever wonder why history repeats itself? Well, I think maybe it's because we don't always listen the first time. I asked Adam if he could take that curiosity and build a character out of it, and he felt like he could. And that was a really great place for us to start. And our early conversations really dealt with what is the process of a Senate staffer. These are people who go to work and are supposed to sort of be quiet and silent and not seen. And there is a kind of heroicism in that. And I think the dignity of that is something that Adam really wanted to bring to life. They claim they saved lives, but what they really did was make it impossible to prosecute. Because if what we did to him ever came out in a court of law, the case is over. I had lots of calls from people wanting to do plays or people wanting to incorporate it into a television show. Scott was the only one that called and really knew all the footnotes, knew the text, and you could tell Scott was a lot different than the others I had spoken with. They waterboarded him 183 times. 11, Everything they got from him was either a lie or something they already had. If it works, why do you need to do it 183 times? Maybe when the report comes out, people will finally see that. Well, let's worry about getting it right. When I first met Annette Benning, I was so impressed with her political knowledge. And then to have somebody who is that intellectually adept and curious also have such incredible chops as an actress was pretty amazing. We will not allow this to be covered up by the executive branch. For me, research is really the best part of what I get to do. One of the reasons I was excited to work with Scott is because he was 100% committed to making sure that the facts in the Senate report were portrayed in the film accurately. No paper. Paper is a way of getting people in trouble at our place. At our place, paper is how we keep track of laws. I hope when people see the film, they realize the importance of checks and balances in our government and the importance of oversight. We are lucky enough to live in a society that, as Annette says, that would do a report like this. I would like us to be more than the country that did the report. I'd like us to be the country that made it public.